Hey gypsies, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another Dollar Tree haul. I just left Dollar Tree and they had a ton of stuff in there that I've never seen before. So I'm going to be showing you guys some new finds as well as a couple repurchases, some fall decor. Um, yeah, there's some cool things, guys. I'm excited. Um, I have my new Bigfoot shirt on that Diane made me, and it says going squatching. And I paired it with my new Timu little boho cover up. So I'm loving it. Um, so anyway, let's get started, guys. Oh, before we get started, though, I just want to say if you like me and my content and you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button um, and just become part of the Dipsy family. So let me go ahead and dive in, guys. I'm going to go ahead and start with these two signs. Um, these are fall. And, and I just came to a realization today that I think I like fall decor better than Halloween. I know I've never been like this in my life. So I don't know what's going on with me. Um, I don't know. I have no idea, but I love fall decor. I love pumpkin spice. I love pumpkins. I just love all of that stuff. And this is so pretty. Um, so this is my favorite color is October. Oh my gosh. Does that just rain true? Did I say that right? Um, and this one says fall in love. Does it ring true? Does it rain true? I don't know. It, one of the two. Fall in love. Look at that. I love it. And then, yes, favorite colors, October. I agree. I love it. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and dive in here. So this is just a tablecloth for picnics and stuff like that. Um, honestly, I got this a couple of hauls ago because I wanted to use it for our water day picnic, which did not happen. Um, so I'm sure we're going to have another one in the fall. Um, there's, there's this one state park that I've been really wanting to go to. It's called Babcock State Park. And I just really love it there. And I want to do a, a, a fall cookout, like a whole cookout there. So, yes. Um, and then I got this right here. This is called Way to Skin. And it is a hyaluronic, I'm sure it's hyaluronic acid. It says it's an essence mask, soothing and moisturizing. And I don't think this is Bolero. I feel like this is a name brand. So I love the way it looks like it's a capsule there, but it is, you can feel like it is a face mask like that right there. So yeah, I love stuff like that. And then I grabbed me some of the, well, some of these, um, these are the sheet grippers, but I'm not going to use them for sheet grippers. Um, my, my chair cover that I got from Shein is I mean, it stays on better than the other one did but i'm still having to fix it quite a bit i don't really have it on there perfect and i just can't figure out exactly how it how how it goes what what how it goes and somebody told me um that these right here will make a world of difference and help it stay on and i can see how that's going to work so i thought why not i might as well try it out because I'm always fighting with that thing. I'm telling you, not as much as the other one, but I'm still always fighting with it. And it's ridiculous. Um, and here is another one of those. Um, I think I got two that day and I showed you guys. And I'm like, you'll probably see another one. It's the Millie's Sipping Broth. And you get three packs in here. And it's the Delight Faux. And now, listen, I saw somebody doing a video the other day and they called it Fa. So I don't know what it's called. Okay. I thought fa sounded weird, but maybe that's what it's called. I'm like, are you kidding me? I had it wrong. Anyway, that doesn't surprise me. Um, I also saw this today. This is like a dupe for the gold bond medicated powder, which my mother-in-law uses the gold bond medicated powder. She's always like, only the gold bond brand you know it's got to be gold bond um but i'm thinking this perfect purity i feel like this is probably going to be just as good i don't know um and sometimes i need some medicated powder so i thought i would just keep this right now i do have a little gold bond that i have to use every now and then 
but I thought, why not? Because this for $1.25, the gold bond is expensive. So yes, why not? And I wonder if it smells the same. It smells exactly the same, exactly the same. So dupe alert, guys, if y'all use that. And then I saw this, which I've never seen this before. This is a white rain men's deodorant in the scent amber wave so i went ahead and grabbed it um i like a 48 hour deodorant for the guys and they like that better too but i mean it's new i just wanted to see how it smells and just see you know what's <sighs> yeah um uh, hold up here what what <sighs> um you know, as you get older, you lose strength in your hands, guys. You really do. Uh, okay. Is there a trick? Is it taped closed? No. What in this ever loving world? Ugh, I got it. Um, you might have, it, it might take an act of Congress. The lid is stuck up in there. Um, to get it out. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, it might take an act of Congress to actually get it open, but once you do, guys, I'm probably going to be using this, and let me tell you why. Oh my gosh, it smells like the best soap I've ever smelled. What is this? White rain? My gosh, it smells so clean and fresh. I absolutely love the scent. Oh my lord, I love it. Okay, so they might not get it. I... It's wonderful. It's wonderful. It smells amazing. Okay. And then last but not least in this bag, I do have an eight pack of the AA batteries. So there is all of that bag. Um, let me go ahead and show you this that was on the thumbnail. And it was while I was looking at this right here that I decided that I really love fall more than Halloween because look at this gorgeousness. They had different colors. They have different prints. It is a Dollar Tree Plus item, but I love the watering can look, and I just love this whole thing. And oh, mama, he's crazy, crazy over me. I love this. I love this. So yes, put that up there. It's beautiful. Okay new product alert this is something i've never seen and it's definitely going to be a um name brand so this is the natural home veggie bags i got me one and i got fifi one because she loves stuff like this you get five bags in here guys look at this natural home veggie bags it says washable polyester they are reusable and Whoop, whoop, hold up. My can's falling. <coughs> All right. So anyway, this is something I've never seen. And I guarantee these bad boys are going to retail for a heck of a lot more. I'm going to have to search it and see. But she's going to be really glad to see that. So I love spotting new deals, especially if they're name brand. So I'm loving that. And then I found this. And I just thought it was really cool, guys. So it says it's a table mat. Now, I don't know what that means. It's a cork board. It is cork. It says life is short. Make it sweet. So it's definitely a cork, cork board. Okay. This is the only saying that I saw. They just had a little stack of them there. Um, and like I said, it says it's a table mat. So I'm guessing... Like if you make a hot apple pie and you pull it out of the oven, you can set it on this or a hot pot of mac and cheese, you know, whatevs. So boom, there's that bad boy. And then I got this because I absolutely love these. Have you guys tried these? Um, this is the silicone scrubbers. You only get one. It is from the standard essentials. Now I have a little silicone scrub brush with a handle on it that I got from Timu and let me just say I love that and I would love to find one that's a little bit bigger on the end than that one and one of the things I love about these is no matter how much of a nasty mess that you scrub up you can rinse this thing absolutely 100% clean okay 
I love that. I don't like bits of food and, and stinky pieces of stuff up in, up in something like this. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. It feels good. They had gray and red, so I got red. Okay, and let's see. What else did I find? I found, oh, here's another one of those face masks. This one is the Collagen Essence Mask. It says way to skin. This is an age defying and skin firming. And once again, not a Dollar Tree product. Um, WS way to skin, I guess is the name brand of it. So I would like to look this up too, just to see, you know, what that one retailed for as well. And then let's see here. Um, I got, and I might have another bag, but I love these right here, guys. And as long as I keep seeing them, I'm going to buy them because the flavor of these pretzel sticks is a big old 10 out of 10. I love them. These are the pretzel sticks, hand seasoned in small batches. It's the Pop Daddy pretzels. Um, and this one is the garlic Parmesan. Now, I really love the cinnamon sugar and I got one somewhere. I don't know where. Um, but they also have a ranch peppercorn, maybe. Um, but anyway, I love these make the perfect snack. And usually me and my son will split a bag and, it, you know, it's just enough. But I love these. And I'm such a dang snacker. I need to quit that. But you know me, I ain't quitting. Can't make me. Um, I found a couple more of these. Um, this is the Good to Grow Pods. Starting, starring Pods. And I guess that's these. So I found, I think this is Rarity, which is one of the My Little Pony characters. And of course, we have Puppy Troll. So I grabbed these. And if you saw our fair video, you would have saw my son on there, jo uh, Josh. He wanted to do a review on these because he was so excited to get one for Ricky, you know, and he went to open it up and everything. And he was astounded at the fact that number one you have to twist off this whole lid so if you give your kid the drink there's no little sippy hole or anything like that it's like the whole top is open and you know if you're in the car sometimes and you got a three-year-old is he three uh two three i can't remember oh my gosh two, three i'm thinking three anyway three i'm sure he's potty training and all that anyway um that you know you could have a mess but he's like, usually you can uh, pop this off and there'll be like a sip hole. And he's like, mom, check this out because it says, um, do not remove toy from the dome. And he thought that was the dumbest thing he ever saw, which honestly it kind of is. So anyway, I still grabbed two more of these because the kids like them and they are cute. So I grabbed them. And then I sat, found some cute little Mr. Bubble things. And I'm like, I'm going to have to grab these because these are cool. Now, the first two I have is the Magic Bath Crackles. And it's, um, I guess it's sort of like, you know, the crackling candy that you put in your mouth. Sort of like this right here. The popping candy. I think it's sort of like that, but you put it in your bath water and it must crackle or something. So it says, play and experiment in the tub to hear crackles. And um, this one, I don't know. We got two different ones. I think, I don't know if they're different scented or because it doesn't really say. They are both magic bath crackles, Mr. Bubble, Pop, Snap. It doesn't really, it says fizz as well, but it doesn't really give a scent. But maybe one is one color and one is another color or something. I don't know. It just does not say. So I thought they were really cute. This one says fragrance free. Okay. On the back, this one says fragrance free. And this one doesn't. This one says twisted. Tri oh, no. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. Um, yeah, I don't know. Anyway new products, kids, bath times, and then another Mr. Bubble product. So these are fizzy tub colors, and they remind me of the, from filling them, 
they remind me of like the Easter, you know, you put the little tablets in the water to color. That's what these feel like in here. So I guess you get different colors. Um, so it says, learn to mix colors in the tub to get the color you want. So it's Mr. Bubble Fizzy Tub Colors Water Coloring Tablets. It says, create, make a rainbow. So it looks like there on the bottom, you get one of every color. Well, not every color, but the, the ones on the bottom. Six bright colors. So I don't know about um, why they're different, because it looks like they have the same colors. I just grabbed one of each because I'm like, okay, those are cool. And the kids will love them. So, And then last but not least, I found this. This is from the Three Amigos. It is the Elote Mexican Street Corn flavored snack mix. I feel like I've seen this in the past, maybe even bought it in the past, but I'm telling you right now, I love the taste of Mexican street corn. So let me taste it just to see. And hold up. I just want to see if it tastes like Mexican street corn. Okay. I'm going to try not to make a big hole because all right. All right. So here's Here's what a piece looks like. One of them. Let's taste. I get way too excited. Oh my gosh, it's good. Oh, it's got a kick. It's got a kick. Whoa. That's got a kick. Okay. Woo. I don't have nothing to drink. Maybe I'll have something in one of these. I don't know. Um, yeah, hopefully. Okay. So let me show you a rug I got from my kitchen. This is from the plus section as well. And this was $5. And look at this rich red or burgundy or maroon rug. I love these. This is from the mohawk which is a very good name brand and i have bought several of these rugs you cannot beat these rugs for five dollars guys you cannot beat that they have a super nice rubber back and they don't go anywhere you know um so i had to get one i needed one for in front of my kitchen sink so i'm like i'm gonna grab this because number one it's gorgeous and number two five dollars you can't beat that so there's that Okay, I got a couple of different things in here to do snap, um, taste test on, and this is one of them, okay? I love these European cookies. They're shortbread, yes, but this one is a lemon flavored, and I love anything lemon flavored, so I'm going to taste test this in a minute. Right now, I still have the elote taste in my mouth, so we're going to let that dissipate. Um, I grabbed these for Jack. This is just the um, Welch's juice fulls so it looks like they're full of juice probably not the best buy in the world berry blast i mean this is a good size little bag um 90 calories it is a 2.25 ounce bag and they look really good so i got those for her and then i grabbed a couple of the awesome garland that they have for halloween this one is like the silver pumpkins can you see them i guess you can here wait there's one silver pumpkins and then they have the purple bats this color is my fave and so here's a bat so you can see it isn't that cute so i love those all right there's those and then I got some different little items up in there. Um, number one, this, um, these, are these rub Oh, rub on transfers. Okay. I'm going to have to start looking closer. I'm not as crazy about rub on transfers as I am about stickers. I don't know. It just takes more effort. Sometimes I don't have the time. Um, but this is rub on transfers. This is like fall leaves. I feel like this is a late fall whenever everything starts turning browner, but I really love these. I think they're pretty and I'm not going to let them go to waste, but I would definitely would prefer stickers. You know what I'm saying? 
And then I found these items here. So these have paper plates in them. So they're called plate craft kits. And it looks like there's six kits in each one. Now, basically, all the kids do, you give them a plate. And it looks like these plates are black. See that there? And a, a sheet of stickers. And they decorate the plate, basically. But that's going to keep them busy for a couple minutes. You know what I'm saying? So I think this would be really fun for Halloween. And I might do a plate with them and maybe PP too. And Ricky can have one and Jack and Ray and maybe Jeremy and I don't know. Um, and so we have this, this set here. This has pink plates and it has like the little witches scene. I love that little witch. She's so cute with her little broom. So I grabbed those as well. And then they had a haunted house one. Now, I love this one because it's on a yellow plate, which looks like that this is in front of a big old full moon, which just takes it up a notch, I think. And I love these, and I can't wait to, to do them myself. Okay, that's the kid in me coming out. Okay, fun stuff. All right, let's try these out. I have to try them out because I want to let you guys know if they're any good. And by the way, um, when I leave here, I'm going to go get some food somewhere and do a mukbang. So, a chat and eat lunch. So, if you like stuff like that, guys, check it out. I'll be posting it after this video. All right. So, here's how they come. Let me kind of show y'all. You get nine cookies in here. So, basically, I'm going to slide this out and get the... I'm, gonna, I'm just going to break a piece off. Well, let me show y'all what the cookie looks like. It looks pretty darn good. Look at that. So I'm going to put it back in here. Let me smell it. Oh, oh. Yeehaw. That smells good. All right, let's break. Okay. So I broke that piece off. Let's give it a whirl. Oh, it smells so good, guys. Mmm. Oh, boy. I'm not sharing. These are mine. Mmm. They're so good. <laughs> They're so good. Okay. Mmm. So good. Okay. Next. They're coming out with some Halloween treats. Okay. Um, this is the Sweet Chaos Drizzled Popcorn, which they have these for just about every occasion, if, you know, every holiday and stuff like that. I love getting these. Um, so this is the drizzled popcorn. This is the candy corn one. Okay. And this one is the pumpkin pie or the pumpkin spice. We're going to try this pumpkin spice right here, right now. I just have to, even though I still taste lemon, I want to taste this pumpkin spice because I'm crazy about all things pumpkin spice. Let's do it. Okay. Hmm. What? Oh, that's good. Hmm. That's good. That's really good. Okay. All right, guys. So they also have the peeps, pumpkins, and the ghost out. Look how Halloween-y. I just love the colors that they chose. So ghost, pumpkins. Jack likes to put them in the microwave and let them blow really big and ruin plates and then trash them. That's pretty much. Um, hold on. I got to give me a little air. I have the air up here at the phone. I feel like I'm... Oh, look what I found. I found these and I got me two more. And guess what? Yeah, I'm getting a drink because I got stuff in my mouth. Some of you guys were telling me they have these at Dollar General for a dollar. I haven't been able to find them. So if you know, these are like my favorite little water drink from Dollar Tree. Okay, guys, look at these. Every year I have to get these. These are the Cowtel Minis Caramel Apple, baby. Anything caramel apple? Yes, please. That's all I'm saying. Fantabulous. So boom. Caramel apple. I'm not going to dig into those right now. Um, and then I got me one of these because I ran out of coffee the other day. When I let myself run out of coffee, 
I get a migraine, so I can't afford that to happen. So if I run out of coffee and don't feel like getting out, having one of these has been a lifesaver so many times. This is the Harry and David's ground coffee breakfast blend. It's a delicious coffee, $1.25 for this. And it usually makes about three pots of coffee for us. Um, so I have to replenish my, you know, little storage. And then I thought this would be a good dinner. This is the Nor um, rice sides. But if you put two together and make them like in a skillet and then throw in maybe some um, kidney beans and maybe some, um, I'm thinking like kibasa or something like that. I think that would be delicious. It looks like that there's actually a recipe on the back. It says easy to bean chili. There's what it looks like, which sounds good too. But honestly, I'm thinking kibasa, maybe a can of Rotel and some kidney beans and the, and this all mixed. I think that would be a really good type of kind of goulash or something. So I may put that on the menu for next week. And then I got one Halloween sign because I'm not saying this is all I got, but this is all I've got right here to show y'all. And it says stop by for a spell. And I love, I always try to say that in a witchy voice. <laughs> you know, I could do better if I tried. Um, but stop by for a spell. And I just love the, the whole thing. I love the cauldron. And it's got like the green bubbling boils and trouble. What bubble, bubble, toil and trouble and all that. that. That reminds me of that. And then just the whole thing. It's got stars on it, which you can't go wrong with stars. So I loved it. I loved it. I don't know where I'll hang it. I think the kitchen, though, honestly, because it's like cooking in the kitchen, you know? I mean, why not? One more bag, guys. One more. Let's see. Okay, so I just picked up one more of these because I think they're good. So this is the Wizard brand. It's the Double Action Odor Eliminator and Air Freshener. And this is in the scent lavender. And these are huge cans. So this is a really great buy and they spray really good. They spray, they remind me of like the Lysol um, sprays, you know. Um, so uh, it's a 12 ounce can and that's a good size can. So grabbed one of those. And then I'm really excited about these and I'm, I, I don't know, I guess I'll have to share, but one of them is mine, okay? So I am literally... I love caramel corn, okay? So these are little corn cobs, and it's soft caramel popcorn, and it says try it warm. Let me just say, okay, it's from Kathy K. It says world's best caramel cob. And let me just say, if you squeeze it, it's, you can, it's, it's soft, guys. It feels really good. And a caramel cob, yes, please. That's all I've got to say. And then here's the other pretzels. Uh, yes, these are the Peppercorn Ranch. I was right about that. So these bad boys are so good. And then I got these, which I showed y'all a second ago. It's just the Goulaid. I love the, just the whole Halloween vibe. It's the popping candy. And sometimes I like to have a pop of that. I mean, a pack of that because it takes me back to being a kid. What it used to be called space dust. Y'all remember space dust? Little black packages. Oh my gosh. Brings back memories. And then, like I said, I did get two of these. So there's my other one. And I've got, I did get two magnets. One's in another bag. This one says, dare to be different. And yes, ma'am, dare to be different. So I loved it. I need some new uh, magnets. Mine disappear. I don't know. Um, everything disappears. Why? I don't know. But it does. Um, and then I got one of these because another dinner idea for next week. So this is the New Fields Chicken Season Coating Mix. Basically, this is a dupe for Shake and Bake. Yes. So don't that look amazing? So I'm thinking some chicken some boneless chicken tenders, making them up in here, baked potato, maybe some broccoli or carrots or something. I don't know, but it looks good. And that's another dinner idea, which I love dinner ideas. So I believe that's all we have, guys. There was a lot of snacks and food items in here, 
but they only come out once a year. So I try to grab them for sure. So anyway, don't forget to let me know what your very favorite item was. And also give me a thumbs up guys, if you like this video and thank you so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. I really do. Um, so anyway, guys, thanks for watching and until next time. Bye.